Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews. Doing another Exo Squad review. And this is the awesome Sean Napier. And this is in his Police Enforcer E frame. <clears throat> Which is very cool. Got your standard uh, box. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention about the boxes they come in two different styles. Let me just grab one of the other ones real quick. Uh, this is the more common with the the flap up here with the uh, J hook on top Let's see the J hook there and uh, that's just the more common box but the the ones that are kinda more sought after and just kinda real cool is the uh, the window boxes where it has just this flap has the nice artwork and you open it up and it's got the the window with the figures inside so I just wanted to show that <coughs> there is two different styles of boxes and might Changes the price if you're looking for these guys on eBay, they might go for different prices. So just keep that in mind. And these are made in 1995 by Playmates Toys. You get a nice little file card there on Sean Napier, and then you get a nice card of his E-frame. Shows all the different specs and that, and then it shows all his different gimmicks. And his little top secret card there. And then you get a view of the different vehicles, or E-frames and characters. So let's take a quick break, and I'm going to get him out of the package. Alright, I'm back with the uh, Sean Napier and his E-frame out of the package. Uh, first off, just to look at the figure. It's very cool looking. And these guys all have the same articulation, so I'm not going to go through all that. But Very nice. And they stand about three inches tall, so pretty small figures. Comes with, and for the most part, I think every one of them come with two handheld weapons of some sort. This one will be a knife, a gun, whatever. And then the E frame itself has these two firing missiles, which just go up in the cannon up top. And the E frame itself. Very cool. I had this one as a kid and this is one of the first ones I had and it got destroyed real fast so it's kinda cool to see this thing again it's been a long time one thing in my last video I didn't get to show you was the spot for the the energy cell If you can see how small that is and I drop it that's how these things get lost real easy and where the hell is it okay <laughs> that's what I was saying in my last video that these things just get lost it's just this little piece of plastic. It's real tiny. And it just clips back there in the back. <clears throat> so if you're going to collect them, that's a big thing to look for. Because online you probably won't find those. But, I mean, you might. But for the most part, those things are going to be missing. So, pretty cool. The arms have ratchets in them. They just go up and down. Uh, this one has a little wheel that you turn back and forth makes the gun pump it's very cool the knees do bend a little and the feet do and they have little hydraulics there it's very cool and then this uh, will go up and down but with the blast shield up kind of gets in the way and this one opens up different most of them open upwards but this one does go down and you just pop the legs leg holders out, pull that down, and then you, you put the f figure's legs around the, the pole there. And it does have the the same thing that's coming out that plugs into the back of their neck. And most of these get stuck, like this one won't push back in. And that's why most of mine are hanging out, is just because over time they just get stuck like that. But what they were originally supposed to do is plug into their, their neck and then push back in so they're out of the way. But that doesn't really work all the time so you'll find that that's pretty common that those there's even some that just kind of pop out and they'll be missing that piece so very cool Sean Napier and police enforcer E-frame thanks for checking it out